Hi, and I know I haven't been doing videos like I normally do, and I always say that, but today I'm going to show you what I have been working on. It hasn't been a lot. I've been kind of busy. You know, we just had Christmas for, uh, not 4th of July. It's a little bit of a ways away. Um, New Year's, and also school's been starting, and history's hard. Yeah. Other than that, I'm going to be trying to work on this more. I, like, last time I said I was going to start on a new Mac Anu, and I have. I've gotten the layout done. I've gotten boxes where they all need to be, and the doors where I want them to be. I've also made the guild room, and also all of the, the starting point of it, and the, uh, walkways for between buildings, and also the bridges on the ground. So, let's log in and show you. Oh, and I also made, um... It's so that the characters... Ooh, that's a little loud. Music's in right now. Um, I also made it so the characters can be chosen for the colors. And it's kind of bright, I know. Uh, I think I forgot to actually half the brightness, unlike usual. But it's got the day and night system on it as well. Um, I went back to using the old... Well, not the old, but the uh, show-styled uh, Chaos Gate. So I textured that, put it in, I showed uh, pictures on the uh, Facebook a while back when I made those. Um, for characters, I made it to where they change colors. There's a lot of different, there's a few different colors for each class and each gender. They're not all specifically the same. So at the moment, I still have not added in, and uh, really I don't know how exactly to add in during creation to show the character itself. So for now, I'm going to make a video after this later on, and have all the character, all the genders and characters shown with their colors and also have it with the number that you can use for it. I'll also list them on the release page when I release it, uh, probably tomorrow. Um, so for now I'm just going to show you what, I've been, what I did. Uh, right now this is, oh I also, there's no textures that aren't mine other besides uh, the boats and you know, the trees and stuff and yeah those ones are pretty general. Um, characters as you uh this is what i did yesterday i posted on the facebook which was adding in boats the grass and trees and stuff which actually before if you've seen the pictures this looks a lot nicer it's not exactly how i want it to be since it's supposed to be an island uh but once i get someone or i learn to uh add in make uh, the island itself with a model it will look a lot nicer because right now you can just see off the edge since it's a general terrain. Uh, not a giant one either. Um, so let's just look around. Uh, so as you can see there's the um, doors which were actually inside the last Pacano for the guild rooms. Now that's not how it is. Uh, these are actually going to be for at homes. Unlike the guild rooms where uh, you can have an infinite amount, these are actually going to be, you have to buy the actual building and it's not going to be cheap. Because once the, all these are brought up, you can't buy any more until someone moves out. And it might be by rent, like in real life. I want to try and make it a lot of realism into the game, but not too much. I guess that's a little bit of realism, realism but each, uh, I can always add more. But, uh, crap, I'm getting sidetracked. Uh, each, um, Root Town is also going to have their own, so you can purchase them between. Uh, so that's one of my ideas. So let's go over here, because this is actually something I added in. These are, uh, little hangout spots to kind of give a little bit of funness, um, because almost every part of Mac Inu is walkthrough, unlike the old one where buildings cut you off in completely. Um, some of them still will be, just because I don't want every single one of them to be open to the edges. I haven't decided whether or not to actually cut off the edges, because I might leave it open and have something over here or on the other side that is a ramp for you to walk back up on. And I may also just add in jumping again. So, I'm sure you guys are going to be looking forward to that. Um, the plan was for also in the middle that we would have a giant fountain. I modeled the first part of it, which was just that part. Uh, it's the same height as the sides over there. And there's going to be a t 
tall water fountain part in here. I might redo it where it's larger so it's easier. But then to fill up some space, I'm going to have uh, circular flower areas to so kind of give it some some stuff and also benches and add in some light posts because at night it's still really dark. Um, so I hope you like that. This side is a little bit smaller, so that side may have more stuff on it. Uh, I finished the shop models as well. Well, maybe not really finish. I mean, there's still a lot to add to it, but I got the general idea of how it is. Uh, the inside of it's similar to the old one, and the designs are uh, were, are designed by Curb on the forums, and he also designed the original outlook look for the uh, Gildrum building. And uh, so, whenever you like in the old one, you'd press on the you talk to the shopkeeper where the save was before. Um, now he's here. Right now you can't click on him. I th think it's just in general you can't at the moment. I have to figure out why. And then to get into your guild room, you just go up here and click on the door. Um, during special events, the top part is maybe open with, because it is large enough for someone to walk on. Um, there's still four buildings like in the old games. And over here, like in the like I had mentioned on the forums, I don't know if I mentioned it outside the forums, this is going to be the tavern. It might end up be it's probably gonna end up being two uh two floors high, so there'll be a lot of room. And if anything I can make it to where it's uh once there's so many people that it makes a second version of it. Um, over here is where the docks are gonna be. It's we're adding in flying ships like in the uh Force era, which was featured in the movie. And that's actually gonna be a very large part of the game. Um, because there's going to be different types of ships, some for fighting, some for not, uh, some for passenger, and some for actually transporting goods b for shop, for player shops between each, uh, route town, because something that we decided to add in was that we're going to disable route town warping on the Chaos Gate to kind of make it so that you have to kind of spend some time in each, uh, in each route town and actually just learn how to do things in each one uh, because it's going to be probably about every half hour we're actually going to have a giant ship a passenger ship take you between root towns um, that's not going to be the only way to get between them we're leaving up to users to actually make passenger uh, in-game company type things where because pa if you own a passenger ship you're able to transport people between um, well, if you own a ship in general, you're able to transport between root towns sooner. You had to pay a small fee, but you can charge players money, like in-game money, to go back and forth. So you can get money from that, and they can move in between easier. I'm going to leave that a lot up to the users and what they want to do for it, and not control it. So you can price as much as you want. Uh, best thing is price the most whenever it's... uh first to left and then lower the price between that um another thing that i wanted to show you is the new field sorry it's a little lagging probably because of uh the time Looks like this is still messed up for me for the shadow with the uh, the uh, fog, but this is the oh man I forgot that I didn't enable the um, snow, but the snow actually falls around you, which is really nice. It makes it very realistic for a snow field. Now these models are actually uh, textured yet, and I probably won't because I'd like to redo them being with the curbs designs and but these still may be added in I'm not sure and if they do I will definitely texture them it's a very large field not any different from the other ones and we'll play somewhere and that is the um, 
as you know, if you played the game, that's the dungeon entrance. Uh, this is actually about it. I don't have a lot of time to go further, because I have to leave. Um, I hope you liked the video, and I hope you follow for the next one, which introduces all the character colors, and also wait for the release soon. Thanks.